Hello Aries, Mary Ann here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are we all wherever you are in the world when you're watching this? A huge shout out to you. This is your tarot scope for the month of December 2022. It is for your sun sign rising or if your moon is in Aries, by all means tune in. Okay, so I need to also do the warning. Um, scammers generally uh, have been, you know, latching on to readers, pretending they're, they're them and offering them personal readings. I don't do face-to-face -face readings, so if you get approached, please block and report. On YouTube, in the comments section, I have a dark grey line around my name. No circle, it is not me. Uh, please block and report. And any scammers offering readings in the comments section, block and report, because it is a scam. Well, it's fish, fizzing, fishing, isn't it? Uh, and you don't do that on my channel. So block and report anyone who is doing that. All right, Aries, let, give me a minute to tune into your energies here. <sighs> wow. Okay. So who's welcoming a grandchild? Um, I'm just seeing this beautiful image of someone holding a newborn uh, close or a baby close special times uh, with family okay so let's see what else is coming through for Aries hmm um, so there, some of you, I don't know, is there a parade uh, that you will be either going to uh, with family? I'm just seeing that. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of drums um, here as well. Something around the rhythm, finding the rhythm of your life is important uh, for you in December. Um, you may have felt you've been misstepping uh, in some way, um, a feeling of being kind of out of balance, not where you wanted to be, uh, and be, being, being is really important for your Aries, and sometimes that can mean finding solitude, even though you're a fire sign, uh, you're uh, ruled by Mars, uh, the first house of the zodiac, is your home of being which is around the identity sometimes too much uh, I'm just going to say stimulation uh, too many um, kind of agendas uh, that that you even if you disagree with them um, you've probably learned over the years to hold your tongue um, and not just not get into conflict and you've probably substituted as a result substituted in some way I'm just stopping on the word substitute what is a substitute in your life um, is something that uh, could be worthwhile pondering or thinking about reflecting on how, how and why have you substituted and what have you substituted for um, so I'm just I'm just getting the word peace. Okay, so holding back in order to keep the peace. So when you're alone or when you're by yourself, you don't have to do that. Uh, therefore, it is more peaceful for you. So even if you've got massive family gatherings coming up, because you can't really be away from people, that's not feasible. Uh, just make sure you hold your own space. Hold your own space and that is the way to solve the puzzle. Uh, to And the puzzle, of course, being how do I achieve peace when I'm around everybody else. Hold your own space and don't stray into other people's spaces, Aries. Okay, what else is coming? Okay, again, I'm getting water uh, for all signs, well, for the fire signs, uh, which is um, nurturing, caring for um, the emotional side of your life, um, making sure you get emotional, sort of it's like filling you back up. And the way we do that is surround ourselves with people who love us, 
care for us, give us uh, what we need, ones where we don't have to be on our guard with. So uh, replenishing, filling your uh, emotional life, caring, nurturing your emotional life is important for you, December, as we head into literally the heady days of Christmas, which of course can be difficult for all of us when we're surrounded by many, many people. Hold your own space. Don't stray into anyone else's. Uh, Come from uh, also empathy and compassion. I'm feeling uh, uh, really uh, strong words here, but doing that or holding that, um, expressing that from your own space, not anyone else's. Again, it's about substitution and compromise. What have you done that on? You know, for some, it's, you know, some, uh, our, I've got my Mars in uh, Sagittarius. Mars, of course, is your ruler. But sometimes we just go too quick trying to please everybody else. Um, and also, you know, do our, sh- our version of shine. Uh, when we can equally shine in our own space. And maybe that's something you've been learning in 2022. I know that I have. All right. There's some uh, some automatic writing messages for you. I'm using my Revealing Light Oracle and also my Wild Unknown Tarot for the rest of the reading. Uh, let's see uh, what clairvoyantly I can pick up also. Yeah, I'm just getting the baby. <laughs> yeah, it's baby Jesus. Uh, it's the nativity scene. We've got Christmas coming up. Some of you might be quite religious. Uh, but no, this is this is a grandchild or news of a baby or spending time with a baby. Whatever, take a pick. Take a pick, Aries. All right, Aries, what's going on here uh, for Arians in the month of December? The month of December. Yeah, this family occasion will, will make you very happy. So we have here Renaissance, Renaissance creating your own Leo energy. It's actually creating your own masterpiece. Uh, literally, that can be painting, but it's also when you hold your own space and you create from your own space. I think you've been doing that for a while now, uh, and the message uh, is keep on doing it. It was absolutely the right way. But with everything else, there's a shadow side, and that is resetting fixed beliefs and moving forward, the moon energy. So when you're grabbed by the instincts, <laughs> instinctive behavior, to maybe, you know, Leo got this as well, sort of push on in, um, just stand back a little bit and make sure you're not repeating any of those old old kind of, or well, nothing is a mistake because we learn from it, but those old patterns. Meditate, again, holding your own space, uh, finding some quiet time, observe your th- thoughts, let the negative flow away and feel your energetic vibration rise. Um, This is absolutely the way to achieve uh, happiness for you in December. Remember, there's always one option. Anyone contemplating walking through a door, making a decision, make sure you've got all the options there before you. Uh, And we've got Jupiter. What lies beyond is a new pathway and beginning. You're setting yourself up. For 2023, where I feel there's just going to be newness there for you, um, Aries. All right, let's. Um, some of you literally are contemplating a move. I just got that clear. Order, audience, plea. Um, some of you literally are contemplating a big move. Actually, um, water. I'm just getting moving to water. Um, moving towards water. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, Aries, Aries in December, Aries in December, show me Aries in December, that's significant for somebody, somebody's touching my head, Uh, that move is very significant for some Arian out there, Uh, okay, so Aries in December, show me Aries in December, daughter of wands, okay, who's the, well you're the fire sign, um, taking a step, movement forward, um, communication is is abundant for you, is actually going to bring forward new growth, new ways of communicating, I feel. Uh, the Daughter of Cups, young people, um, children, grandchildren, um, 
new ways of communicating that others aren't expecting from you. Okay, the devil is at the foundation of the um, reading. That's uh, Capricornian energy serves us well. People say, oh, but I'm a Capricorn. Why am I? Well, Capricorn, the, the absolute positive aspect of the devil, and let's let's be honest here, it gives birth to something new. Look at the fire at the uh, here, uh, and this is very pertinent for Aries. It's about moving through any sort of toxicity. Uh, and, you know, you're the goat. <laughs> you know, you will find a way. Um, so you're going to move through any toxic situation in December. Wow, it's going to be so fulfilling for you because you're going to do it. Um, however that pans out. Uh, here's your card in the past. You've learned control of a lot. You've learned control of many situations in your life where you felt you didn't have control. The Empress, now you've got the uh, Emperor and the Empress sitting side by side. Control is in the past, but we've got nurturing, abundance, uh, motherhood, grand, you know, someone welcoming a new baby. Um, that's just beautiful energy here. The Empress card, the Mother card. Uh, the Divine Feminine card, and we've got uh, mo moderation, temperance, and healing in the immediate future. This is for you, Aries. You know, fi your fire energy can be uncomfortable to sit in. You're tempering it. You're letting the fire burn down a little bit. You're holding that space within you. Absolutely the right way to go. Mother of Cups, nurturing yourself in the here and now. I think... All this is making sense to you. You already know this. You're already doing this. And we've got the Seven of Wands, the fire energy, finding a pathway for that fire to come through. Uh, again, uh, you know, or everyone else, but finding your own space. Um, I think this is a huge revelation for you, holding your own space when you're around people, not not barreling on through into their agendas um this is a tempering of a moderation of your energy which actually allows the flame albeit reduced to burn brighter there's the lesson for you aries the hanged man looking at something a different way in the hopes and fears and the outcome is the ten of pentacles money family heritage uh legacies family strength the strength of the family, the strength of your heritage, the strength of your gifts, Aries. And we have the tower, facing the tower down in the past and coming through solidly, I feel, Aries. You needed to do that. You needed to basically burn it all down uh, so that you could find the strength within. Uh, it was an inevitability. So now you have the strength the strength of the family, the strength of the heritage, the strength of the legacies, the strength of the family relationships. And we have um, the uh, Seven of Swords. Uh, this can be a deceptive energy. I think that's moving on. Uh, you're moving on from that, whether it's self-deception or whether someone's been deceptive towards you. The Four of Pentacles, holding yourself in, moving away from loss. Where were you moving to wisdom? It's not always black and white, is it? It's uh, It sometimes requires a process to go through. All right, Aries, there's your reading for December. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back again with another soon. Bye for now.